In this video, we're going to go over two column proofs dealing with circles. So let's call this point A, B, and C. And we have the center D. Now let's say you're given the following information. So you know that D is the center of the circle. So we have circle D, and you're told that AB is perpendicular to AD, and DC is perpendicular to BC. So with this information, prove that AB is congruent to BC. Feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So let's make a two column proof. S for statements, R for reasons. So the first statement we could say is that D is the center of the circle. And so this information is given to us. Now in step two, we could say that AD and DC are congruent. Now, since D is the center of the circle, that means that AD represents the radius of the circle and DC represents the radius of the circle because the radius is the distance between the center of the circle and any point on the circle. And so the reason for this, we could say that all radii of a circle are congruent. Now, what else can we say? The next thing we could talk about is the other given statement, that AB is perpendicular to AD, and also that DC is perpendicular to BC. And so we could just write given for that step. Now, any time you have two perpendicular segments, you need to know that they form right angles. So in step four, we could say that angle A and angle C are right angles. And so we could say this is a definition of perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines form right angles. Now step five, we could say that angle A is congruent to angle C. And the reason right angles are congruent to each other. So now step six, You can say that BD is congruent to itself. And this is due to the reflexive property. And so now we have enough information to prove that the two triangles are congruent. And we can use the hypotenuse leg theorem because we have two right triangles. And the hypotenuse is clearly congruent and the legs are the same. So in step seven, we can make the statement that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. And this is based on the HL theorem or the HL postulate. So now we can make the final statement that AB is congruent to BC. And since we prove the two triangles are congruent, their corresponding sides must be congruent. So this is based on CPCTC. Now, because CD is perpendicular to BC, BC is tangent to the circle. And whenever you have two tangent lines or two tangent segments that extend from a common endpoint, those two tangent segments will be congruent. And that's known as the two-tangent theorem. But this is how you can prove it if you want to.